Hey YouTube, this is Tutorials for You 321 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow eye shadow and a rainbow eye on GIMP. So I got an eye picture. Um, what you need to do to start off with the eye shadow is you need to make a new layer and get your paintbrush, make it a hard brush and um, you're going to pick the colors of the rainbow and if you guys don't still don't know the colors of the rainbow it's red orange yellow green blue indigo violet but what i do is i use um i use purple and pink for indigo and violet um yeah so you just color in and then next is orange so I have my rainbow done over the eyelid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layer mode to color. As you can see it looks a little realistic. Now what we're going to do to make it look even more realistic is we're going to erase all the parts that go over the eyelid by zooming in and erasing. So I'm done erasing all the parts that go over the eyelid, and this is what it comes out to look like. Um, it looks pretty realistic. Um, so now we're going on to the rainbow eye. Um, to do the rainbow eye, it's almost the same thing as doing the rainbow lips on my other tutorial. But what you're going to do is you're going to create another new layer. Go to your gradient tool, but this time, unlike the rainbow lips, you're going to click the actual polarization spectrum and you're going to do the gradient no matter which way you want as long as it all all the colors go over the eyelid Ch you're going to change the um the layer mode to whoop oh no to color and you're going to get the eraser and this time we're going to use a fuzzy brush. Um, wait for this eraser thing to load up. You're going to get the eraser, the fuzzy brush, and put it on your eye and just erase around all the parts that do not cover the eye lid. Then when we get to the actual eyelid, that's when we're going to get use the hard brush. So now we're going to zoom in. Oh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Um, we're going to get a hard brush. There we go. And we're going to make it about here. And then just go all. because you know that it's visible make sure you make it really even as so so I'm done erasing and this is what your image comes out to look like um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, thanks for watching this is tutorials for you 321 and I'll see you next time